Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey guys, this is Grand Hustler 32 and I'm doing this video for the Locker Gnome YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the top 10 Cydia apps or tweaks that are available for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad. So to start off, here on the lock screen, you have lock info, which will show you everything that you have that you did not read. Your email, your SMS, your notifications, anything like that from whatever you want, you can choose to have showing or not showing. Also with that, you can have other plugins such as this weather, which will show you the seven day forecast when you click on it. Winterboard, which is what you see right now, enable you to theme your device. Depending on which theme you get, you will have full customization of everything from the icons here to loading screens and the full UI. The next one is SB settings. You slide your finger across the top and you get these toggles which allows you to turn off and on your data, Bluetooth, change the brightness right from here as well as all of these other things. Next if you see in the status bar I have a few icons there that are not normally there which comes with Notified Pro. Right here you see I have 13 notifications if you click on this you can see that you have all of your notifications like you did on lock info but this will just show you anywhere on your springboard with notified pro you can of course choose what you want to have showing there are a ton of options for what you would like to have the next one is 3G Unrestrictor, which does exactly as it sounds. Some applications, like the App Store, when you download big files, you have to be on Wi-Fi. But with 3G Unrestrictor, if you add that to the list of exceptions, you no longer have to be on Wi-Fi to use that. And that goes along with everything, even the phone, which allows you to do FaceTime over 3G. All you have to do is go into Edit, Add and pick whichever app you'd like to use. Next one is one of my favorites it is Safari Download Manager. It comes right in your tray icon and allows you to download files in Safari. So if you go to Mediafire or wherever you download files from, they will all come right in here. And once they're done, you can click on them. And this is another great app that I use all the time called iFile. iFile is SSH on your phone itself instead of having to use your computer to SSH into it. What this allows you to do is go through all of your folders and you can change up your themes inside of there if you don't like something you can just remove it right on your phone or even if you download deb files or any kind of file from Safari download manager just go to that location and if you say it's a deb file if you just click on it you'll get options to install it which you can install it right on your phone not needing to use your computer to do that this tweak is called folder enhancer what it does is allows you to do folders inside of folders it allows you to have a ton more apps in the right regular 12 that Apple just allows you to do on stock among many many other things so let me show you here it's that easy you can now put folders inside folders which is very nice and you can just keep putting apps inside of that folder once you have that full of apps you can then scroll from page to page depending on how many apps you have in that folder it is simple to get out of it you just tap on the folder itself and it just exit back to the springboard the next one is one of my favorites when I don't have Wi-Fi access and I want to use my laptop or whatever using the AT&T data it is called tether me it allows you to use the native tethering on the iPhone without having to pay 20 bucks a month for AT&T's data plans there are a few other options if you don't want to use this one called my MyY and PDA Net. MyY allows you to have a Wi-Fi hotspot. With this, you can only do USB or Bluetooth, but with MyY, you don't have to have a USB cable. You can just use the Wi-Fi and your computer will pick it up as a Wi-Fi signal. And the last one that I have here is called InfiniDock, which allows you to have more than just four icons in your dock and you are able to scroll it from side to side. So let me put an icon down here and when you close out, you see that you have more than four icons now. You can put as many icons as you want down here. It is very nice and you can choose how many you view right here. If I have five icons right here, you can change that in the settings to have five icons view instead of the normal four. So hopefully you guys liked all of these most of these applications cost some money but they are very cheap the price range for these apps are from free to about five dollars depending on which app thank you guys for watching make sure to check out my channel and locker names youtube channel i have a lot more videos like these coming and on my channel already so thank you guys and hopefully to see you soon